In this video, let me take this opportunity to clarify one of the most common queries that I've been continuously receiving in my channel, which is which field is better compared to piping design and pipe stress analysis. So uh, I could see there are a lot of candidates uh, coming out with this queries because they wanted to know uh, whether they can fit into pipe stress or fit into piping design comparing which is best actually. So I just want to give a perfect clarification for those who wanted to choose your decisions basically. So let's understand about the roles and responsibilities of pipe stress and as well as piping design first of all. So what is piping design is about? Piping design is about executing the piping project right from the input and take it up to the end of the deliverables and to submit it to the construction and then also to help the client for commissioning. So basically they start their role starts from the beginning of the projects from the input stage to the end of construction and even post construction as well. So piping design engineers gets involved in every stage of the project. So what is the role of pipe stress engineer? Pipe stress engineers duty is to analyze the piping system to making sure that there is no excessive load to making sure that the line has enough flexibility and making sure that there is enough supports provided making sure that all equipment nozzles are perfectly fine and making sure that there is no excessive vibration in the system and if there is an excessive vibration provide the proper supports or any mitigation to reduce the vibration so this is the role of pipe stress engineer so pipe stress engineer boundaries are very limited compared to the piping design engineers boundaries because piping design engineer starts interacting with the client right from the input stage and he will get involved in the material section, drawing preparation, even the, he will uh, get in touch with the uh, pipe stress engineers in order to give an input and take an output. But what does pipe stress engineers does? Pipe stress engineers has to wait for an input from piping design engineers. So basically you're collecting an input from a different role, which is your uh, dependent input basically. Only then you can start your work actually. So, at this point of time, I could see that piping design engineer role is a little better than the pipe stress engineer. But technically, it doesn't mean that piping design engineers are far better than the piping stress engineers. Okay. See, both profession has an equal competence. But in order for more responsibility, piping design engineers has more responsibility. But piping stress engineers has a responsibility only within the stress part. But piping design engineers has a responsibilities to complete the task with every discipline and to ensure that this document goes to the construction for a construction also. So this is the major difference between the piping design and pipe stress. I know there are candidates who are willing to know about this or from the perspective of a salary actually. So as far as salaries are concerned, design engineers and stress engineers has no big difference in the initial stage. But over a long term, design engineers will have a lot of influences i mean will have a lot of uh, benefits in terms of getting more uh, salary that's because the responsibilities in the bigger projects are huge but even if the stress engineer goes to a bigger project his boundaries are within the stress limit so this is the practicality i'm saying actually most of the stress engineers after 10 15 years they move to the piping design just because of the career growth so as a growth point of view, I would strongly advise that piping design has better growth. You can become a lead project engineer, you can become a project manager or you can become an HOD. So that point is available actually. But in stress, you can only become a senior stress engineer or you can become a lead stress engineer because head of the department, you will have a very less option. There will be a lot of piping designers fighting for that position. You may not be able to uh, get it actually. So this is about the growth point of view. Now let's talk about the opportunity point of view. Generally in any project, if there are 10 piping design engineers, you will only find a three to two to three stress engineers because the quantum of job for stress is one third of the entire project. You cannot have 50% uh, of the project scope for stress analysis. So that's logically how the system works actually. So it is based on the critical line list. So only we can say as a conceptually, one third of the lines in the any, any project will have stress complication so for that we need a stress engineers so in terms of opportunity also the piping design engineers has a more opportunity compared to stress actually so now if you ask me which is best in terms of uh, uh, technicality in growth and opportunity and salary then it cannot be defined in that way that's because 
there are people who joined as a design engineers went to stress engineering because of the likeness towards the technicality this is the intention see people things in a different way uh, most of the candidates who think that just because getting into any field you can excel or you can like the job that's not the way actually see after getting into the field looking at the daily activities looking at the follow up looking at the in depth of detail that you have to get into it only then you will be able to know whether you like the job or not only if you know whether you like the job or not only you can continue it actually there are people who are not able to continue in the pipe stress because of the complexities because of the 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 kind of activity that they have to do see stress analysis job is not that easy it will be uh, only the people those who are good in analytical good in uh, understanding the material strength and good in analyzing various uh, parameters and good in understanding the project accomplishment and also the stress importance only then they can succeed actually so it's not that easy so if you think that uh, by just comparing these com uh, lot of parameters and you can simply choose piping design or pipe stress that's not the way actually see if you are a core technical person you have to analyze in that way see i would say the people those who are more into metallurgy and uh, those who are really good in uh, strength of materials are more suitable for pipe stress analysis because it is more of that actually but people who are good in uh, the the sort of an uh, project executions and in uh, conceptual designs and detail engineering will be more suitable for piping design so this is my personal opinion but definitely your opinion may vary but i want to give you the industrial point of view because if you think that uh, your imagination may be right in the industry that may not be um, at most of the cases so as far as the industries are concerned opportunity wise growth wise and in terms of uh, the designation wise piping design is better but in terms of uh, the technicality in terms of uh, uh, what do you call matching your uh, um, uh, strength of material uh, experience uh, to the piping field then pipe stress may be better actually so this is the comparison so you can always compare with these factors and make a good decision so i will meet you in another fantastic video until then bye from subhash chandra